Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode of Scar as we start a new build, and that is the Coral House. So we're looking at the Coral House right now with all the new blocks recently added to Minecraft, and this is going to be one super awesome project where we're going to build an under the sea house. So let's get this project underway. All right, and welcome back. So we are now in the world that we're going to build our house in. So we're taking a look here at our palette of our materials and colors for our particular build. Let's start with the structural blocks first. And here is our first block right here. So that is the prismarine bricks. And that will be our main block for building. And then this will be our accent color. So this is the, uh, the dark prismarine. And this will be our roof and uh, accent things around doors and windows and such. And then this will be our floor and possibly that. So I'm trying to decide between the quartz and the sand Sandstone. I'm leaning towards the sandstone, so let me get your opinion on that and um, as the floor because I want things in this house to be used from within the uh, sea floor and stuff. So we're not going to use a lot of woods and stuff like that. We're trying to use as many things from the sea floor as possible. And then over here are some of our colors. Hello there, Plankton. How are you? And um, so we got our teals and greens and some grays. I think this will all look really nice. And then down here, of course, because this is the coral house after all, we have some of these materials that will be great for coral. So that's the prismarine natural block and it changes color. So it's super green at the moment, but it also turns purple. So that's pretty cool. But um, these two, these three blocks actually act as coral also, so I think they'll look pretty good as that. So we need to pick a location. So I'm, I, I was planning on building it over here, but I'm thinking about building it in between these little uh, mountain things right there. I think they'll look really nice right there. So these are, of course, the Duke Guardians. So I like to, you know, add a couple of them so they can uh, give us company as we're uh, going along here. So definitely let me know if this is something you guys want to see going forward. So yes or no, if this is a design and a house we want to see. So definitely let me know. I want to see those comments roll in to see if this is something you guys do want to see. All right, so we're spacing these blocks out by three and we're going to go one, or actually that's two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll bring this up like so. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to take our prismarine blocks and we're going to go boom, boom. And then from here, right there, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. Perfect, there we go. We are on our way to success. And our first underwater build, this is gonna be super fun. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect. All right. So make sure you guys don't judge it too harshly yet because we want to kind of let it kind of grow up a little bit and get all the details on before we really kind of give it give it our uh, our thorough uh, look at. All right. So I'm going to start the walls here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to bring these pieces up for now. Slowly just getting the entrance here built up. Excuse me, Squidward, excuse me, or Plankton. Looks more like Plankton from SpongeBob. Um, let's see, I'm trying to count this out. So right now, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna bring this row all the way up here like so. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go bam. I'm gonna run that all the way up. And then right here, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna run that all the way up also. So as you can see, we're gonna start to add some dimension and some detail now into the design. And I always like to do the front, the facade of the building first to kind of give you guys a good sense of how it's all going to come out in the end. So one, two, three, four spaced out like so. And I think that's a good amount. And we'll do the same over here. We'll back up here and we'll just run this all the way up to the top. Okay, good. So what, how are you guys liking these new blocks? Because you know, these are kind of specialized blocks, you know, color wise, they're not going to fit into a lot of builds, but I think we can get pretty creative here and uh, do some new and exciting things to try to make this look pretty good. Whoops. Uh, we're going to take our bricks and bring that all the way up. Here we go. Nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to run this across the top like so. Uh-oh. We're losing, we're losing our vision. We're losing our vision. See, I didn't, uh, you know, make a permanent potion for night vision so we could see good underwater because I like to kind of see what it looks like without night vision once we get the lights built up and stuff. So we, we might we might add a permanent potion later on, but for now, I think this is good. All right, good. So that is our first start of it. So I'm going to finish that other side and I'll be right back. 
All right, and welcome back, and look at this guardian engaging in combat with this poor squid. Oh, no, he's going over the finishing blow. Oh, he's done. He's done for. Oh, he's done. <laughs> oh, man, that's just sad. All right, so we're finishing up this last side here before we complete the perimeter of the house and then get our floor plan situated. And I want to go over some of the design um, ideas and uh, philosophy behind some of the things we're going to do for this particular house's interior. There we go, got that all complete. So we'll do that once we get the uh, dimensions down. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let me catch my breath. All right, commencing again. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I think we're gonna go out to 22. There we go, okay, good. So like I always say, when we start out one of these builds, it's good to get all the kinks worked out now. So we want to do a lot of counting, measuring, making sure all the proportions are up before we start building walls and getting all the detail down. So this is the time to make your mistakes and to uh, to get them all fixed up. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all going to make a few mistakes once in a while when we're doing this. So no need to get discouraged of any kind because this is just the way things are. We're all human. We make our mistakes or Minecrafty guys or whatever. All right. So that's one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, and we're gonna do the same over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, nice, now we're just gonna double check things here. I want this to line up with that. And we're gonna fly on over here, or swim on over here, and that lines up perfectly too. Good, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and we're going to do the same over here just bring that all the way out to nine get that up there perfect and we'll just run you all the way across perfect so let's just do a quick count here one two three four five six seven eight fly on over here one two three four five six seven eight perfect one two three four five six seven eight nine and just run that all the way across and there we go we've got our floor plan all situated and complete so let's do a quick uh, little rundown here so this is going to be kind of a living room design and then these areas over here can be kind of dining rooms and kitchens and assorted other things but there we go i think we finally got that all situated looking pretty good now i wanted to point out that this is sunday this is the scarland day but um, we're just taking a quick break from our Scarland Fishing Cabin project to do this as kind of a special edition episode for the channel because, you know, we want to do, uh, you know, mix up things once in a while. And when we get new blocks, I get super excited when there's new blocks added to Minecraft, especially blocks that can be added to you know, a building of some kind. It seems like, you know, I only like to do the snapshot videos like we did this weekend when there's something really cool that gets my uh, interest in it. So I like to make the videos then, like when we had the hardened clay built and I did some demonstrations on how hardened clay can be incorporated into your builds. And then when the, um, the horse stable, or the horses were added, I wanted to show what kind of horse stables, you know, designs and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't do a lot of redstone and, or command block things, and that seems to be 90% of the snapshots these days. So I don't really uh, get excited about that. But when something like this is added, when we get all these new blocks and a new creature and, of course, the dungeons, that's that's when I get excited. That's when, uh, that's when I want to get in there and get my hands dirty, get out my workbench and my uh, tool belt and start, uh, you know, going along on some type of project. There we go. So let me know, guys, what kind of things you are planning on doing with these blocks, what kind of builds and things. I think uh, something cool we could do with this also is some type of, uh, you know, castle, some type of undersea castle that has a lot of like kind of trident, you know, style, kind of sticky way up into the air. And we could do a lot of coral running off of it. I wanted to do kind of a house that, you know, is something familiar, something that's, you know, has a familiar feel to it and it will allow us to kind of add coral and things to the outside to make it look like it's been under the sea for a while and it's got this growing on it but it's also a familiar style of a house that we'd find you know on the land but it's under the sea where there's different um you know weather constraints and things that that happen to it you know with all the under the sea things so barnacles and corals and all sorts of different things have grown on the outside of it making it unique for this particular um 
build, and I don't know, I really don't know if you've heard that, but Chili is snoring so loud right now. You'd think she was an overweight man, but no, she is a cat. A cat that weighs about 10 pounds, and she's snoring like somebody that, like an overweight person. It's unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. I want to laugh, but it's sad at the same time. <laughs> she sits about like 10 feet behind me on my bed, and she just snores at me. If I turn around and I like yell at her, she just kind of like opens one eyes like, really? We're going through this again? <laughs> she got really fat on uh, E3 trip. We left a lot of food for her. And you know, it didn't look like she ate a lot, but when we got back and the bowls were pretty well empty and Jelly has these uh, swirls on the sides of her, uh, of her, uh, sides of her cat part, her body, and <laughs> her cat part. Um, and they, they're these swirls, and when she's fat, they look like bullseyes. They stick out from her body. And it, uh, it was quite amusing when we came through there, and it was like, yep, Jelly's fat. She's got her bullseyes on her sides again. <laughs> oh, but we like her, don't we? We like Jelly. Yes, we do. All right, we have now almost completed our first story. Get this all situated and done. And let's take a look at all of our progress. And look at that. Now, it might look like a box with a weird protruding end on the back, but it's gonna be pretty cool when we're done, especially when we add windows and all the detail that's gonna go on the outsides, like the coral that'll hang off the sides. It'll look really cool. Well, guys, I think that's good for our first episode. Next episode, we're gonna start the, uh, the roof and the second story. And well, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this first video. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And then over here is a smaller lawn with a swing set and a ball and a really cool custom tree built up right there looking totally awesome. And then up here, a nice place for the grown-ups to head up and enjoy some time in their gazebo. So they can head up on here, you know, got a nice little fire brewing in there, take a look at the ocean out there and just kind of relax as the day goes on. So that is pretty cool. So this also over here...